Okay, guys, so this is going to be the notes on acid rain. We're going to learn kind of a lot about acid rain. It's a pretty um, common event, especially now with a lot of the pollution that is in the air. And acid rain affects a lot of things and is uh, can be actually very expensive. But since we're in an acids and bases unit, we're going to be spending kind of a lot of time on this. And it's going to pull in some of the previous chemistry that we've learned as well. Okay, so first of all, I want to start off with a definition. So the definition of acid rain is rain that has an unusually low pH. Remember, acids have a low pH. So the lower the pH, the more acidic something is. Okay, so that's that's the definition of acid rain. But let's we have to talk about clean rain and regular rain first and how acid rain forms and all of that. So we're going to just start with formation. So how acid rain forms, okay? And we're gonna have some sub bullet points here. So I'm gonna say clean or unpolluted rain is usually acidic. It's not really something that we think about, but only slightly. Okay, rain, regular rain, just falling from the sky, just water is going to be slightly acidic, okay? This is due to a reaction with carbon dioxide, so CO2, okay, to make carbonic acid, which is H2CO3. So as the rain falls through the air, it reacts with the carbon dioxide a little bit. It, it dissolves some of that carbon dioxide and it forms carbonic acid, which just brings its pH down a little bit below neutral. Acid rain occurs when SO2 oops, and NO X, so that um, NOx, remember we learned this in air chemistry, NOx is nitrogen oxides in general as a category. Sometimes that's NO2, sometimes that's NO, sometimes it's N2O4, but it's a nitrogen oxide compound, okay? So it occurs when SO2 and NOx react with the water in the atmosphere to make stronger acids, to make stronger acids. So let's list a few of those stronger acids. We have H2SO4, which we named on a previous page, but that's sulfuric acid, and H2SO3, is sulfurous acid. So both of those are formed when sulfur dioxide reacts with rainwater. And then we have HNO3, which is nitric acid, and HNO2, which is nitrous acid. So both of those can be formed when re reacting with the nitrogen oxide compounds, the NOx compounds. Okay, let's talk about sources of these gases that create the acid rain. So sources of SO2 and NOx. Sources of SO2 and NOx can be natural and anthropogenic. Okay, anthropogenic. Remember, anthropogenic means human caused. So reaching back in our brains to that air chemistry unit that we had. Okay, so anthropogenic, well, let's do natural examples first just to stay in the same order. Natural examples, lightning Lightning is a super high amount of energy and it causes the nitrogen in the air to react with the oxygen in the air and creates a little bit of NOx, okay? Nitrogen oxide compounds. And volcanoes, I don't know if there's an E, 
Yep, I think there's an E. Okay, volcanoes can be a source of SO2. All right, anthropogenic examples of these pollutants, of sources of these pollutants, I should say. Cars, factories, coal power plants. Okay, the cars are mostly going to be for the nitrogen oxides, that high temperature engine again high energy can cause oxygen and nitrogen to react in the air and form those nitrogen oxide compounds. Factories just depends on what they're putting out and coal power plants, that's gonna be the major source of the sulfur dioxide, but also diesel fuel has a lot of sulfur in it. So it puts out a little bit of sulfur dioxide as well. Okay, so in order, if you wanted to like circle, these are more likely to be nitrogen oxides and these are more likely to be the sulfur dioxide. Okay. All right, there are adverse effects of acid rain. Remember, adverse means not good, okay? So it negatively impacts plants, animals, and infrastructure negatively impacts plants, animals, and infrastructure. Remember, in infrastructure is gonna be roads, bridges, buildings, any structures that humans have built and put in place is going to be considered infrastructure. Okay, so let's just go into those in a little bit more detail. Let's talk about plants first. Soil pH, whoa. <laughs> Soil pH changes with acid rain, okay? So soil pH changes can kill plants, okay? Especially plants that have a small root system. If the soil pH changes, the plant can just kick the bucket. Um, acid leaches, important minerals from plants, making them more sensitive to cold weather, okay? Leeches means sucks out, right? Like think about a leech, leech sucks an animal's blood, right? So leeches is a verb to mean remove, pulls out, okay? So acid will pull minerals out of a plant and then that plant, because it doesn't have the minerals that it needs to have a healthy system, will be more sensitive to cold water and more likely to not survive winter weather. The wax coating, if you've, if you've ever looked at like a leaf really carefully, it has like a waxy surface to it, okay? The wax coating on leaves degenerates with acid rain, removing their protection. That waxy coating actually protects those leaves from the sun, okay? Ultraviolet rays can give us a sunburn a plant can sort of experience the same thing. The sun can actually damage the leaf tissue if that wax coating is, is not there. And so acid rain can just dissolve that wax coating right off of the leaf. So that's a few examples of how acid rain can affect plants in an adverse way, okay? Let's talk about animals now. Okay, aquatic animals are gonna be the ones that are affected the most, okay? Aquatic animals, are most at risk, are most at risk, which that should have a dash in the middle, sorry, because small pH changes can kill them. Okay. Their eggs and their adults. So a small pH change in the water where the aquatic animal lives is gonna be a big deal because that water is literally getting into their lungs and that can mess up their system big time. But also their eggs, eggs are already vulnerable enough. If you change the pH of the water that those eggs are sitting in, it can just totally ruin them. Okay, acid rain in the air can be very irritating 
to lungs and eyes of land animals. Okay, so if it is raining and that's an acidic rain, you would probably notice some irritation in your soft tissues and that would not be very pleasant. Okay, infrastructure. Remember, we were talking about buildings, statues, see some good pictures on those uh, in, a, in a coming activity, okay? Gravestones and roads all degenerate more quickly in acid rain environments. Okay, bridges too, if you wanna throw bridges in there, okay? Acid rain eats away the building materials that we use and it degenerates them, which means that we have to replace them sooner, which is very economically expensive, but it's also a waste of materials. So that is going to be our stopping point for our acid rain notes, but you are going to learn more about acid rain in the next couple of activities that we do in our class. So thanks for tuning in and we will see you in class.